Mysore, known as the city of palaces, has been accorded the cleanest city tag not once but twice. Touted to be one of the most popular tourist destinations in India, Mysore is known for its palaces, the Mysore Silk, the Mysore Park and the Mysore Masala Dosa. The Mysore Palace witnessed more footfalls than the Taj Mahal recently. The city is not only the cleanest city in India, but it has also been touted to be the fourth least polluted city in the world. Launching the Clean India program in 2013, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said, <laughs> The initiative, set up in honor of independence leader Mahatma Gandhi, aims to create a clean India by making it open defecation free and clean by 2nd October 2019 to commemorate the 150th birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi. One of the main objectives of the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan is to get more people to use toilets. Around half of India's population still goes to the toilet in the open. The city of Mysore was built by the Vodayars of Mysore whose contribution to the city is immense. The contributions of Nalbadi Krishnaraj of Vodayar IV to the city of Mysore is noteworthy. It was during his reign the city of Mysore became the first Indian state in the whole of Asia to generate hydroelectricity. The underground drainage lines which were installed during the Maharaja's time are still intact and have hardly come to repair. The 100-year-old underground drainage system installed during the time of the Maharaja is still intact and connects houses to the drainage system. The city has 1,560 kilometers of underground drainage network and about 2 lakh households are connected to the network. There are 60,000 manholes in the city which are managed by the corporation. This happens to be one of the reasons why open defecation is bare minimum in the royal city of Mysore. The first municipal body was constituted in 1862 and the city had its own sanitary division as early as 1885. The first city improvement trust board was formed in 1903. Street lights were installed in 1908 and the underground drainage system was introduced as early as 1910. Mysore got the status of a city corporation in the year 1977. Mysore segregates 70% of its waste at the source. Wet waste is collected each day by the Paura Karmikas while dry waste is collected once a week. Dry waste collection centers have been formed in 12 wards out of the 65 wards and 32 dry waste centers are ready to be opened in the city. The corporation aims to have them up and running in all the 65 wards soon. It is mandatory on the part of the individual households to segregate and give the waste in the heritage city. Out of 402 metric tons of solid waste garbage, 202 metric tons goes to the compost. 6 metric tons of animal waste goes to the deep burial. Uh, the animal waste, we have a separate chain and uh, the waste is collected from the uh, stalls. Uh, almost uh, 6 metric ton of uh, animal waste is uh, collected and transported in 5 
20 pearls and one canter and uh, we have the system of a deep burial. 45 metric tons of waste goes to the zero waste management plants. There are nine zero waste management plants in and around the city of Mysore. Whatever is remained goes to the landfill. The city is growing exponentially. It is famously referred to as a pensioner's paradise. However, the city has witnessed immense growth of late. The colonial style bungalows have made way for apartment complexes and shopping malls. The city generates 100 tons of construction debris waste each day. Now, uh, to retain uh, the, uh, the, the first tank again and to make a hat trick, uh, we have already uh, initiated several uh, uh, programs. We are into uh, preparation of uh, DPR, DPR uh, we have already been finalized. We are going to have two more uh, uh, compost uh, plants in the city and almost 100 metric ton of uh, the construction and debris waste which is coming out every day uh, in the city. Uh, we have already floated uh, tenders and we will have uh, the C and D uh, waste treatment plant also in uh, Mysore city. So that is our uh, immediate uh, uh, plan. To better manage the waste generated from construction activities, a construction debris waste management plant is also on the cards. In order to encourage citizens to plant saplings and keep the city green and the parks clean, the corporation allows resident groups and organizations to adopt and maintain the parks. Namma Lingambudi Park ina yerado badiyalu kuda na wo nalvatombatu maragalan na neti dili. Hindi Ashoka salu maragalan na neti dhan thandre na wo hasya marthai dili. Ashoka yen marda sal mara neti dhan tha. Yivatin dina Ashoka vruksha anta hele esuto gundira thakkan tha. Aa maragalan na na wo yivatin dina neti dili. Nawo nama parki ya salu marada timma ka parkan thane hesri neti dili. Ali na wo yaga sumar hippatto gire galan na neti belistai dili. Innu kuda na wo muvatta yerado gire galan na betto nels neti belistbe ko ana thakkan tha bandu karya krama vanna hakon di dili. Saplings and water for the upkeep of the parks is provided by the corporation. Solar projects have been successfully implemented in Kupanna Park and Cheluamba Park and also some government offices in the city. The Mysore City Corporation distributed 1,50,000 color-coded dustbins to the citizens of Mysore belonging to below poverty line families to segregate the waste. The green dustbin for wet waste and the red one for dry waste. Minimum open defecation, good sanitation practices, scientific solid waste management are a few reasons which made it possible for the city to win the cleanest city tag. The Herculean task of cleaning up the city rests on the shoulders of the Paura Karmikas who go about their task of sweeping the streets, collecting the waste and dumping it into autos as early as 6 a.m. every day. <laughs> ಜಿಪಿಎಸ್ಲಾಡ್ಕೊತಾವ್ರೆ <laughs> Yaro Madala, Tampora Karmi Grid, the name number one stand of Tori Tara the Mysuru. Sir Namister Ganeshanta, what number Ipat Muri, Gangotha Lever to including Jealousy from Yerdu Seri, what number Ipat Murido, Carpet Bondo, Bagiotis Brumunim Saranta, Namlari, GPS, the contract basically now Kelsamar Sanova, Namata, Carpson MCC and Takirtula, Carpson Missy Carpson and Takirtula, Adamata GPS. The Mysore City Corporation employs 
2,200 power karmikas, of which most are employed on a contract basis. Power karmikas collect the waste from households and are also seen sweeping the streets every morning. They literally have to get their hands dirty to keep the city clean. The railway station employs its own army of cleanliness soldiers in two shifts. A 15-member women team works from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. The next shift is an all-men's team that does the job of cleaning up the railway station from 2 p.m. to 9 p.m. Citizen participation and the involvement of organizations has been instrumental in Mysore's victory. Organizations like Let's Do It Mysore, a non-government initiative group and the Clean Mysore group which are active on WhatsApp and other social media do not merely mobilize people but they also educate the people about the importance of cleanliness. I think segregation, I think this is the biggest issue of uh, ADS on the chicken and egg situation like that. How do you make it? How do you segregate it? How do you segregate it? How do you segregate it? How do you mix it? I think this is the kind of a chicken and egg situation. Now, I think this is the kind of a chicken and egg situation. Education mana dene ini, awu di segregation agak dene. Kerana, nama dene lah istilah segregation mana tu? Nama awi betul tu, nama jenis dene, awam dene mana tu? First, mana first tu? Nenek kita sama tu. So, there are lot of practical issues which we have, and I am sure this is the one thing we need to go door to door try to educate people. I feel this is the one more you know event we need to have for the next two years. Betul betul tu, mana yang tu? Nama let's look bagai. गुणगान आमाड़ देगा निजों आपको आधे कार्य स्थान अंदर ही न्याय उद्यावर तो कार्य करता है क्या नहीं महिषोर मध्यलेख से भी आप बरोध के लेट्स डू इट इस आल्सो वन ऑफ़ द मेजर पार्टिसिपेशन ऑफ़ पब्लिक पार्टिसिपेशन ऑफ़ एनी अंदर दैट इस एक्चुअली वन आदर्श तो खुशी न्याय तो करता आई शुड � like-minded individuals come together and share their ideas to keep the city clean, make suggestions that could be followed by others on the group and air their grievances in the WhatsApp groups which also has the commissioner as one of its members. Ini maklum, masa itu pun orang tu, restu jenah ini, ini lebih dari dua orang ni orang tak dapat pergi tahu ke mana macam. Awal tu, nana shoot je, ya lagi. Agrup ni lebih beri, semua segala tu, personal ni nak tahu atau foto segala ni beri ni kerja siapa. A member ni, agrup ni dah delete mana tu. That that group is purely meant for conveying messages and awareness about cleanliness. The MCC is working in tandem with the citizens of Mysore to keep the city clean. There are localities wherein the citizens adhere to the guidelines of the corporation. They segregate the wet and dry waste and also take up cleanliness drives by forming their own residential groups with like-minded individuals. A door-to-door -door system of collection of waste from every household is employed to collect the waste. The city has achieved a 100% success rate when it comes to door-to-door -door collection of waste. Segregation of waste at source is almost 80% in the city of Mysore which is making a huge difference in effective solid waste management. It is a common sight to see auto tippers and trucks plying on the roads of Mysore early in the morning. The corporation has 350 vehicles which includes trucks, tractors and autos which are fitted with GPS devices. Each ward is given three autos and a lorry. There are 168 autos and 390 pushcarts which help the city to collect and transport its waste.
the auto tippers and push carts after collecting the waste assemble at a point where they load the waste onto a tractor or a truck. The autos, lorries and tractors are fitted with a GPS device which helps the MCC constantly monitor them and also to increase the efficiency. The tractors and trucks go to the compost treatment plant located in JP Nagar. They say for any movement to gain momentum and become a success, its campaign is equally important. Stickers from the central government are translated into Kannada language and some stickers are designed by the corporation on its own with inputs from the commissioner. The city has 167 bus stands and 5 bus terminals which are equipped with digital displays which display the cleanliness messages. Nearly 3 lakh passengers are exposed to these messages making them aware of the importance of keeping their surroundings clean. Cleanliness message signboards are also installed on medians of traffic signals and busy junctions to expose the people to the messages. My city corporation, uh, we have uh, uh, followed uh, and uh, strictly adhered to the uh, directions and uh, the circular instructions issued by the Ministry of uh, Urban Development, Government of India as a part of Swachh Bharat uh, mission. And uh, we have designed several uh, uh, posters, uh, then uh, the uh, education materials and we have distributed to uh, even the uh, hotels, uh, then uh, the commercial establishments, even schools and colleges, offices uh, and even in the medians we have put up the cleanliness uh, messages, uh, the signage boards also. According to the Mysore City Corporation Commissioner, Dr. C.G. Betsurmat, who is the man behind Mysore's success in being declared as the cleanest city, Mysore could win the cleanest city tag two times in a row because it follows the 4R concept. We could achieve this uh, uh, ranking uh, second time in a row uh, because we are following 4R concept, I mean 4R principle. Uh, normally in uh, other cities they follow only 3R principle that is uh, reduce, refu uh, reduce, recycle and reuse. But in Mysore we have added one more R that is refuse unsegregated waste. We have already conducted many orientation programs to the poor karmikas and we have uh, educated the people also and we have distributed uh, uh, to each and every, every household the uh, pamphlets containing uh, how to uh, the matter containing how to segregate the waste into dry and wet waste. 476 towns and cities across the country competed against each other for the coveted spot and it was the city of Mysore which emerged as the winner when it came to cleanliness.